Well, for some scientists at UC Berkeley, it's all about the mirror. Engineers there have come up with an invention that could have wide-ranging applications for consumer electronics that haven't even been invented yet. ABC7's Willie Monroe shows us the drive to discover a better, faster laser. I think blow is probably 10 or 15. It's all about the mirror. Professor Connie Chang Hasnane and her graduate students in her electrical engineering lab found a way to make a better mirror that can improve the performance of lasers and may usher in an era of new products. Oh, absolutely. It, it will open up the door for many, many new devices uh, that we cannot even at this point em envision or imagine. From research in the lab, they use the university's clean room to manufacture a mirror that's dramatically thinner, more highly reflective, and capable of using a wider spectrum of light. As a result, the mirror can be produced at lower cost and perform at greater efficiency, allowing the laser to use less power. A simplest thing is to, to think about uh, battery-operated uh, um, CD players and DVD. If the power consumption can be reduced, then the battery either can be lighter or it can be uh, lasting a lot longer. The most immediate application may be in high-definition DVD players. Researchers say the laser is the most expensive part of the player, but their inexpensive, efficient mirror could bring the price way down. For a really long time, we couldn't get our device to really demonstrate our original concept. So I guess at that point, we'll just keep on trying. They say it took a year for their perseverance to pay off. We actually failed many, many times. But uh, luckily, one day, we, we successfully solved the problem, and we make our device work. They were inspired by the door of a microwave oven with its single-layer mesh mirror that reflects the microwaves back inside. So we look at that configuration, we say, well, gee, why can't we make that in the optical domain for the lasers? They've already applied for a patent and are waiting for industry to come looking for ways to apply their new technology. In Berkeley, Willie Monroe, ABC 7 News.